I've been playing about with rum blends over the last few weeks because I wanted to create my best ever daiquiri. Now, what's a rum blend, you may be asking? It's a kind of a practice that a lot of bars and a lot of bartenders are kind of uh, going down at the moment, simply because when, like the best way to explain it, when you look at sort of cocktail books, take Smuggler's Cove, take Beach Bum, it's kind of uh, Trader Vic's and Don the Beach Coma and all that, they kind of use maybe two, three, four different rums in a cocktail. Now to save time, uh, what a lot of bartenders are actually doing is pre-mixing, pre-batching their own specific kind of house blend, if you like. So what this is, is a collection of four or five different rums, I'll show you in a second, uh, from behind my bar, and just kind of batch, and I think I've really created an amazing catch-all daiquiri rum. And this daiquiri, which I'm gonna show you in a second, is absolutely phenomenal. Subtle hints of coconut and pineapple in there. It is so, so good, but you can really taste the rum. Now there's no right or wrong with this. You could create whatever you fancy. I've just started off with a daiquiri blend. You could, I've not even tried this with Coke or in tiki cocktails, but you could have different blends. You could have one blend catch all. It's completely up to note, completely up to you. But what I would absolutely love uh, to see from you guys, if you go down this rabbit hole of rum blends, in the comments below, kind of stick, let me know your specific blends. What kind of rums do you use? And whether you whether it's a Coke rum and Coke blend, whether it's a cocktail blend, whether it's a specific daiquiri blend. So this is what I've created for my own personal daiquiri blend, because let's face it, if you love rum, you are gonna love a daiquiri. I don't want it to create a blend for all kind of catch-all daiquiris, and I think this is absolutely nailed for me, for my own palate. So per 60 mil, and I will put this in the description below so you can see it as well. Per 60 mil, I've started off with a base of Veritas, uh, kind of lovely sort of Barbados, Jamaica rum, four square in Hamden. You've got tropical and you've got a bit of funk in there. So 20 mil of that. Uh, I've then gone for Florida kind of four-year-old, kind of vanilla-y tropical notes added to that. Really good daiquiri rum in its own right. Absolutely love it. Uh, and if you guys know me by now, you know I kind of love my rich sort of Demerara rums. I love those kind of rums. So uh, Puss's Gunpowder Proof had to be in there for me. For me, this just kind of ties it all in together nicely. And it's a 54.5 percenter as well, so it kind of ups the ABV. That's a 47 percenter as well. Uh, next up, so we've gone uh, 20 mil, 10 mil, 15 mil. Uh, next up, I wanted a bit of fun as well because I love my fruits as well. So uh, I've gone for Plantations Isle of Fiji. If you've never had that before, just think proper out there, fun, tropical like you've never ever tasted before. Banana, pineapple, bits of sort of sort of mango coming out there in the nose. It is such a glory. Without being a flavoured rum, it's a really, really glorious tropical rum. Uh, so that was 10 mil. And then to round it all off with a little bit more of Jamaican funk, uh, we had to have a Hamden eight-year-old in there as well. So to quickly run you through that, per 60 mil, 20 mil, 10 mil, 15 mil, plus as gunpowder proof, 10 mil plantation Isle of Fiji, and then five mil of uh, Hamden eight-year-old to round it all off. Now my daiquiri blend would have stood up in its own right, sort of that blend, uh, lime and sugar, that would have been amazing. And that's how I've kind of created it. But I wanted to create my best ever daiquiri and I absolutely love this recipe. It's kind of a pineapple and coconut, but not too uh, pineapple-y in that sort of sense. So let's crack straight on for it. Very, very simple ingredients. My rum blend, uh, coconut puree, coconut mix, whatever you've kind of got at home. This, I love this, this is what I swear by, long life shelf stable. I've got some lime juice, got some pineapple juice, and then just to tie it all off, I've got Miss Betty's Bitters uh, Pineapple and Star Anise Bitters. So, uh, first ingredient, we're obviously going for a 60 ml double bubble of our rum blend. Uh, so we'll put that in there. Lovely, jubbly. Uh, next up, we shall go for our lime, and I'm going to uh, bring this to 20, uh, 20 mil exactly. All right, so not uh, not thirty mil, not twenty two, but just pure and twenty mil. Lovely. So 60, 20. Uh, and then going for my coconut puree, and for this, I want fifteen mil, half an ounce of coconut. Uh, Real, Monin, they'll all be other great brands, long life shelf stable. So I've got the coconut going in there. Now, as I mentioned, I don't want it too pineapple. I've been playing about with this. Just five mil, literally just five mil of proper pressed pineapple juice sets this off a treat. And it is absolutely amazing, I promise you. And then just to finish it off, 
Uh, my pineapple and star anise bitters, let's give you a little close up on there, hopefully on that camera. Miss Betters bitters, I love these, swear by these in all daiquiris. Two dashes, there we go. Now we're just gonna ice this up, plenty of ice. Give it a really good sort of shake down as per normal. Good hard and fast shake. And then just to serve it up, I've got my, one of my favorite sort of little Nick and Nora glasses out of the freezer. It's actually called a Tiki Mai Tai, I think the glass is, but pretty much Nick and Nora glass. And we're just gonna double strain. There we go, lovely. Now pineapple juice gives it that little bit of texture as well alongside the sort of uh, coconut. It's stunning, I promise you, it's absolutely stunning. And then to garnish, I'll sort it out properly for the thumbnail, uh, but I've got a pineapple wedge there. I've got a little bit of sort of uh, lime that I might dangle down there, but you know, whatever you kind of fancy for that. That is my best ever daiquiri. Cheers. <laughs>